right, I've been uh, forgetting to press the record button for these. This is the third one I've tried. I'll go back and try the others and show you what happened. This is the old trying one that I don't know what it is. And uh, it's derailed, but it runs. Before that, I tried three Great Westerns. Nothing with that one. That one does a little bit. Yeah, well, there's life. I think we'll leave it at that though. Some of these smell quite exotic. <laughs> and this one actually did run, I'm pretty sure this one Hang on. This one went a bit berserk. This one ran straight right there to the box. it does work because it's got a chuff chuff fitted I've just noticed let's see well it tried oh and it all admit to cheating with this one I just slipped the body off because I knew the connector inside was unconnected which I've now just pushed back on because the uh, it holds the dummy bogey in place and that's where it picks up from so it wouldn't have worked without it so let's try well there we go this is a lean these old lean plate loco always seem to work I think if it's uh, if you saw the state of these wheels, it's not surprising it doesn't, but it works. We'll just stop there and move on to this one on line two. Oh, wrong way. I'm glad this works because it's got a chuff chuff fitted also. <laughs> Why do they always get stuck where I can't reach them? But uh, yeah, I think we can say that uh, works. Right, this one had a brush missing. But um, I found a brush loose in the bottom of the box, slipped it in. I don't know what this is from, but it's obviously from a loco that had uh, cylinders. So <laughs> let's see what happens. I don't, I don't hold out much hope for it. Nothing. No, nothing at all on that one. So we got here. I'll try this one. Tender, tender drive.
Right. Oh, nearly. It should be about a uh, windfield motion, I'm guessing. Just leave it. Again, it stopped right where I can't reach it. <laughs> and there we go. Right, nearly out of locos now. Let's see what this one does. Oh, there we have one. These always work. <laughs> Right, <laughs> it works. Of the last three, the blue 040, I cleaned the wheels just on a bit on one of these, um, one of these, and it got it running. Not well, but obviously dirty wheels is a problem there and other stuff. The Thomas didn't. There's a, there's a bit of life there, but basically it didn't run at all. And the little 040 ran fine. <laughs> well, almost fine, considering. So, um, there we go. Not bad. The next time we see any of these, I'm going to do a bit of servicing and see what we can get out of them. So, uh, I'll come back with them running, hopefully. Right, this is the after cleaning and a very quick service. Two anomalies. This is a GWR, and I'm, there's going to be a few pushes as well. This is a GWR Princess. It's been re into GWR. And there's three others that have been also. Right, round here is a Hornby Class 33. All the rolling stock was in the job lot as well. So this is most of its first run. Uh, some of it won't be running because uh, these train here they I hope they run fine but they've got the um I don't know what you call these couplings um so and I haven't got a loco with those couplings on so at the moment I can't run them but uh I have sort of temporarily hooked them onto something and they ran fine Just got to the again runs very well. Lima. Uh, I did very little for that. Oddly, this is a BWR B12. Right, it's not running very well. I obviously you need to do a bit more work to that. It has a chuff chuff fitted. It runs fine on the curve, but not on the straight, he said. Immediately it doesn't run fine on anything. This was running well actually earlier on, and we'll stop there. Uh, these are two Hornby pannier tanks, not new livery. One of them though has got, uh, one of them's got a different motor to the other. I'm not sure what you call these, but they're uh, like a tan motor. One of the rears got that. So the third one of these, and I've got it working, but it doesn't run as well as these two, so it's got to be the side end for further investigation. Here's the um, RB08, pulling the same few carriages that uh, touched the tour a minute ago. And going the other way is the Tenderless 4F, which has been adapted by um, 
not on me. It's a story of removing the puppet and going to the puppet. I'll probably either try and get a tender or I'll just rebody it as a shampoo. Sounds nice enough. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, one of the old trying hat cleaners. So I think if you do anything to it, just put that on the floor and run the coin. Incidentally, the process that we saw at the beginning has got five coal motor in it, which is definitely not original. And in the box, uh, I'm going to stop here, are two of these. Also, a brand new lever, um, five pole, what did I say, yeah, it's five pole locomotive, and I'm pretty sure it's one of them that's fitted to the um, Princess, runs very well. be traction tires on the tender and I'm going to order some because also they should be on the class 33. Well there are but they're not in very good condition so I've been despaired I guess it will be getting a full thing. And that's the oh no it's not the lot there's one more. Uh, I'm not sure if the other day I showed um, Thomas. Well I've taken the Thomas to a charity shop into the carriages. I'm not really into that so uh, I've got it running. Yeah, that is a easy traction tire. I've got the Thomas running, there's nothing much needed doing to it. And there were five different. Is it Annie's and Farrah's or something? So, uh, they've gone to charity. Yes, of course, that's the um, classic. It's done quite well. I don't know what to do with this as yet. Yeah. 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 And on that note, I'm going to finish. I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, they were a bargain. I need to do a bit more work to some of them. But um, yeah, they were an absolute bargain. I forget how many there are. But yeah, they worked out about £10 each, I think can't complain. In fact, I'm not complaining at all. I'm really over the moon at someone phoning me and letting me know where they were. So please keep watching. Um, please subscribe. And uh, please like if you did like it. I'm, I'm not bothered if you dislike it. I shan't um, change. <laughs> I might improve, but I shan't change. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>